All right, guys, so as I said, we're going to do a flip through of the Junk Corn Journal, and then after we do the flip through, um, we will then go and I will have a second video where we use some of the stuff that I showed you, and we will make a couple pages in here. So to start it off, I have, um, I just have some Dollar Tree decals in here. I have some stickers that I was given. I have some ribbon glued here on the side. And over here, my daughter got one of these squishy or squish yums goodies. And I left this open so that I can put like a picture in the middle here, probably of my ugly mug. Um, since this is my junk journal and I just used a bunch of Dollar Tree washi tape and uh, some stickers and that's what I used to keep this down. Um, I also used some glue on the back. And on, like I said, on a lot of these pages, you guys, you're just going to see that um, I have random little things started. I don't have like full pages or anything done and that's the great thing about a junk journal you can start where you want stop where you want do what you want there is no rhyme or reason to your madness or there doesn't have to be when you're working in a junk journal so on here I just did some um, rubbings with some ink stamps and things like that and obviously some hearts and some washi tape and now some of these pages are just prepped. Are they staying like this? No, I'm going to end up putting all kinds of stuff over these. Um, on this page, you can see I glued down some Dum Dum wrappers from um, my daughter's suckers that she got from like a couple times that we went to the bank. So I have those in there instead of throwing them away. That's the best thing about a junk journal, you guys. You can just throw in whatever your little heart desires. Um, this is just some paper pad that I liked the hearts and it was left over so I just glued it down in here. I'm not going to necessarily explain every page because obviously, you know, it is what it is. Um, this page now is somewhat done for the most part. I just glued a bunch of junk. So I took some different sayings from some different books and cut out different letters from some magazines and made from the good stuff and then I spelt out junk and I just have different things glued in here. I cut a flower out, made a stem out of some paper, um, made some leaves out of, I believe it was like coupons or something my husband had from like Camel or Marlboro and I, I liked the design so I just used those and cut them out as leaves. There's stickers from Happy Mail that I've gotten from people. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Um, this is just some jeweled stuff that I got from, I think, the Dollar Tree. And this right here, I'm just, I was started putting a bunch of flowers and different things from some of the magazines that I got. And this is just a little flappity doodah that opens up. And actually, it opens up quite far. And like I said, these are just odds and ends of stuff glued in here or stickers or anything like that. Um, and it opens up, and I have some more washi papers and things like that, some paper pads, some washi, some stickers, and will it stay just like this? I have no idea. I might put some ink over the top of it. I might. You never know. So these little flippy flappies that you get in the mail from all kinds of different stuff are always fun. It's just glued in here. Um, I have some washi tape on the side, and I also... I also um, just had a little bit of this, like, I don't know, it's just some, like, eyelash yarn, and I poked a hole and just tied it through there. Um, this page is, as you can hear it, it's kind of sticky. I had a bunch of random stuff in here, and it wasn't staying down, so I did use some Mod Podge and just go with the flow. Um, this is just a mismatch of all kinds of stuff. Um, cute stickers, little sayings from different books, some pictures from like Reader's Digest and things like that. Um, this page is pretty much the same thing. I have this little flippy flap stuck in here off the top of a book 
and let me see if I can show you if I can tilt this up a little this just flips up and I just have some pink um, ink on there and uh, some of it I just scribbled well, I don't even know what that says I'm awake and I'm dreaming dreaming of you so this is really rather messy, but I don't care because it still pleases me, even with the chaos and the mess and whatever. Um, I also have some little coloring book pages that I just stuck in here, some um, distress inks, some sprays. Uh, I had some little diamonds that I put in here. Um, I have all kinds of stuff. This cute little red picture, this... Obviously, I like washi, and I like making messes, and all that good stuff. Um, here's another page I was working on. Got a little birdie hanging on, on his little tire swing, which they filled up with bird seed, which is a really cute idea, so I put that in there. And like I said, you guys, most of this for me is just stuff out of um, magazines, some... Um, random stickers that I had laying around, just things that I still liked and didn't want to throw away, and obviously I wouldn't throw stickers away, but if I like them and I want to keep them, well then I might as well use them and throw them right in this junk journal. Um, like I said, you guys, I don't really know what to say about this, but um, it's just odds and ends of everything. Um, I had some wine bottles, some zero water, I liked the colors. I put some Everyday Heroes on the wine. Um, this right here is just like a sticker. Uh, I pulled the stickers out, but then I peeled the whole back out after the stickers were used and just shoved that in here as well. Some more colors, some more washi, some stickers. And I hope you guys can see this. I know the lighting is not the best. I do have my um, flash on, but I don't know how well you're seeing it. So I apologize ahead of time. I like adding little flappies just with some cardboard. You know, this was off the back of, I think, one of these sets of stickers that I got for planners and things like that. And I just used it to put in here because you can glue whatever you want over the top. You can do whatever you want. And like I said, you guys, this doesn't have to have a rhyme or a reason. Um, is there a reason I got some salt water stuff and corals down here and then a picture of... Um, a My Little Pony? No, there is no reason to it, but it's there. And I also saved some of these dif different things that I've made, and I don't know where I want to put them, so I've been trying to make some, like, cutouts. This was just something from the Dollar Tree. It does open, and there's, um, I just cut the back and shoved this in there to make it look like it was filled with berries. Uh, I have a bunch of octopus in this book because for one I love octopuses octopus -wa, whatever you want to call them <laughs> um, so I made him a little flap and I made his legs just sticking out there in the back so that I can put different things in here if I want and then it just says the power of eight this is um, a little book or a little pocket that I got with some stuff and I just have different things that I was going to throw away that I've put in here um, is this like the final state of this? No, but I just wanted a pocket and I got it. Um, this little tag right here was actually off of one of my daughter's um, shirts and I liked it. So I just stapled it onto this little packet. So now I can glue this somewhere or I can make this a little flap. I can do whatever I want with it and I don't know what I want to do. So that's why it's just kind of thrown in here. Um, this is also something I just use some staples so I can stick this back here if I want to kind of hold it in for now. I have some Under Armour tags from my son um, that I can color on or paste some stuff over and make a cool little flap with. And most of these are just random pages that I really don't have anything going on yet, but eventually I will. And you know what, you guys? These stick together and break all the time. And I honestly don't let that bother me whatsoever because all I have to do then is take a sheet of paper or cardboard or something and glue that down there, make a pocket, you're not going to see it. And then I can just glue over something on this side. So if your pages stick together, don't freak out. That's the best part about this whole thing. You can use whatever you want and you can, there is no such thing as an error when you're doing this kind of art because... 
maybe I'll leave that hole just as it is so you get a peek through of what's over on the other page. You never know what way your mind is going to go. I have some um, different ribbons and things tied in here through the book and that is how these are secured to the outside. Uh, I have some old <laughs> credit cards that they sent. I made a little flippity flap here. Um, this little thing was from one of Jasmine's um, Pick Me Pops and it's a cute little envelope and it opens up and it says don't worry be yappy. I thought that was cute so I put that in here and I have this little insert here and these are from and I love using these you guys these are from old um, calendars. There's the word I'm looking for. D3. And I once they're done and I can just cut them up and I can use them as cute backgrounds and things like that. So uh, this was some wrapping paper I think I got in the mail and I just put it on the back side of this to cover up the calendar. Uh, this is, like I said, a Hatchimals thing from my daughter. It was gummies and a sticker sheet from like Valentine's I think last year. Um, this was a little, what was this? This was Shopkins I think from like McDonald's and the the case that it came in was really cute so I just took it off because the little arms bend and I put him in here because he makes me happy I can't help it this also I believe is a little flip out thing um or just the one page but that's all that came with this where you can check off what you had This is a chili that my daughter colored a long time ago when we were at Chili's. And there's some random stickers. There's like some random signatures, different things scribbled. Um, this page, I even tried some temporary tattoos. And I wanted to see if I could use them on um, top of just the cardboard and things in my journal. And it actually came out pretty good. So there's just more washi, and this is just another insert, or packaging, I believe, from something that I got from either Michael's or somewhere, and I just liked the blue, so I put this in there and have some stickers. This little flippy flap is also made from packaging from um, some sticker packets and things that I got. Another part of a octopus. Some more randomness. Like I said, you guys, when I get really bored, I'll just start sticking stuff in here, and I don't care if it gets covered up. I don't care. It's just going for it, because that's what you have to do. If you have a junk journal, and you're kind of anal like me, where you just want things to turn out so pretty, this is a great exercise for you to learn from all the different ways that you can use art and not hate on yourself if something doesn't turn out, because it teaches you how to cover it, how to fix it, how to get over it. If you hate the way that you wrote the word love, well, that's great. At that moment, you wanted to write that word. And now you can stick something over it and it's gone and you can start all over. That is why I love junk journaling. Um, I also have some cutouts in here from magazines that I want to use. I loved this hand doing this. So I kept that in here. Um, that'll go somewheres. This is another page that is um, a spread that's more so done. I made little uh, tags out of some card um, stock that I had, put some little ribbons on it, and I made some tuck spots here. And this big pocket back here is also a tuck spot. And this was just a tag. And this was like a 365 type journaling thing, and I just... Poked a hole, put some ribbon and some washi, and I can decorate these any way I want. I can journal on them if I want. I can do whatever I want, and that is, like I said, the best part about this. You're probably going to get sick of me saying this, but this back is just some paper, some washi, some different things like that. Um, this page here is the Dead Man's Carnival came to my town, and I loved this little um, thing that they were handing out, a flyer, I guess you want to call it, so I just taped that in there. Uh, here's some more cutouts. Here is some, I think this was from some type of chocolate. I can't even remember. But when my husband has stuff like that, sometimes if I like the, the packaging, I'm like, oh, keep that for me. Don't throw that away. And now I'm getting the hiccup, so I apologize if you hear that. 
But, like I said, a lot of this is just nothing. And that's okay, because when I decide to make it into something, or I decide to add my different junk, then it can become whatever it becomes. Um, this is another just randomness page. And you guys, do I think this is art? Do I think I'm creative when I use these things or make them? Not necessarily, but like I said, it's more about learning about different aspects of art and Will washi tape go over top of ink sprays? Will this work here? Will I need to add up some Mod Podge to keep everything down? There's just different things and different things it teaches you um, as you're going along. I loved this woman out of one of the National Geographic books, so I put her in here. Ah, this kid is adorable. Absolutely adorable. Um, I love the way this right here ended up turning out, and I wouldn't have known that that's how it was going to turn out if I didn't use my ink sprays and some different random things. Um, bad of the bone, bad guys, and this all came out of, I think, one of my kids' book orders that they weren't going to use. And I just like getting a background, getting something going, and then eventually when you're flipping through and you have stuff to add, you're like... This speaks to me. This is going here. And like I said, does it have to end up turning out pretty? No, these aren't going to get hung in, you know, a museum or anything like that. That's not what this is about. Um, I also have this cute little octopus, and I'm pretty sure this opens somewhere. Does this open? I'm almost positive that I left this open so that you could, yeah, that you could slide something in here if you made it fit. And I just put the word tomorrow on there. Why? I don't know. Because I did. Because it just worked for me then. Um, some more random clips out of magazines. I have a um, fortune cookie that I took. And I took the little thing out, the fortune out, and put it over here. The real meaning of enlightenment is to gaze with undimmed eyes on all undimmed. And I have this cute little baby. So, you guys, there's just random stuff. Um, this right here is actually, I'm a type 1 diabetic if you don't know, this is from one of my infusion sets that I use, so it's medical waste basically, it's something that the sticker, the infusion set IV3000 came in, and I glued it in here and now I made it into a flappy. I can add whatever I want from there. Another octopus, stickers, um, these, everyone always asks me about these, you guys, these are the sprays from, like, Delusion and things like that, Delusion ink sprays, I love these things, love them. This is the backing from some stickers I believe I got from the Dollar Tree, and this, I believe, is from something Jane Davenport, I love Jane Davenport, love, love, love all of her products, um, and some more little images that I really liked. So I put them in here. Um, this says, A Different Kind of Genius, The Prisoner of Life. And then I have this wonderful lady here who I deemed the warden. I put a little um, jewel on here and drew her a neck necklace. I mean, here's a $10 get out of jail free card, or at least that's what I'm saying. Um, this right here is a little postcard that I got from... A lady that is near and dear to my heart, her name is Karen, she is from Australia, and I absolutely love the stuff she sends us, and this was one of them that I loved, and I was like, what can I do with this? It's not junk, but I want to keep it, so it went in the junk journal, because now I can look at this whenever I want. And I have some money taped in here, some more ink sprays. Um, this is just randomness, you guys. So... If you're watching this, I guess, <laughs> for any particular reason to get some creative juices flowing, I don't know if you're going to find that here, but it is just randomness, and that's what I like about a junk journal. I probably sound like a bo broken record, but still. So this is actually just a piece of paper that my daughter used some stamps and some sprays on, and I loved it and didn't know what to do with it. So I put some washi over it. I put the little Geico gecko guy on it. Some puzzle piece things. Cut out a little heart. And when you open it up, she's just got stamps and some washi. That is what the back looked like. She was trying to um, do what I did on some of my pages in my junk journal. This was an apple card that my son, I believe, had. And once he was done with it, I just took it and taped it all in here. 
Now, like, stuff like this, this is, like, fleece, you guys. I even cut up and saved the pieces from my coupons and, like, the flyers that Michael's or Joann's or anything like that sends you. That's awesome to get imagery to use in here. This is a feather from, like, the Jumbo Wall decals at the Dollar Tree. I have a cute little hummingbird. A little tag I made because I didn't know what to do with it, so I just folded it up and stapled it on here, and now it lives there. <laughs> Um, some more pictures from National Geographic. I got a bunch of the National Geographics from Half Price Books, I believe it was, and I got a stack of them for so cheap, and I love, love, love the images in there, so a lot of that went in here, too. This, I believe, was something I got in a happy mail from one of the subscribers on my channel, and I feel really bad that I can't remember your name, and if you're still here and you're still watching, thank you so much. It is in here. It lives in here because I loved it. And I didn't want to lose it, so I sprayed some ink over it, and I still get all these cute little images. And now I can doodle all around these if I want and make some, like, zen tangles. I can just write on here. I can do whatever I want with this page and every other page. <laughs> so, like I said, just some random papers that are stuck in here, some images that spoke to me. Uh... This woman feeling dumpy sitting on a couch. I could relate, so she's in my junk journal. <laughs> uh, this is a card that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I just glued it in here and added an image from, I think this is from Reader's Digest. I have a piece of a calendar in here. Some more just stuff that I glued down just for some, just for something. I can't even tell you why all of it is what I glued down, but, you know, I did. So, I got some hands. I don't know what I want to do with these, but I know this image was also from a Reader's Digest, I believe, and I was going to do something with these hands. I don't know if I'm going to use them on her necessarily, but um, <laughs> this piece of paper says, what a genius marriage really looks like. I don't know where I was going with that, but... That can just stay in there for now. This is just a piece from a paper pad. This is a little coloring thing that I made. And I had a um, really flimsy... What was this from? Oh, this is a folder. And I cut it up. And this was some of the scrap pieces. So I just poked a little hole in here. And I can add um, some ribbon or something and turn this into a tag. I can paste some stuff on the back and turn this into something really cute, maybe add a sticker. And then this right here ended up just being the piece that was left, and it looked like a little mail flag to me, so I threw a <laughs> a sticker on it, and that went in here too, because it reminds me of, like, Blue's Clues. Who has kids that you, that grew up watching Blue's Clues? So you did too? I did. My Parker was addicted to Blue's Clues, so this reminds me of... Here's the mail, it never fails, it makes me want to wag my tail, when it comes I want to wail, mail. Okay, I'll stop now. Please don't turn the video off, I'll quit singing. <laughs> so here is some stickers, it says dance it out. I got some Elsa and some Anna over there going on. This is another piece of that coloring pad. This is Dream Squad 7 Flavored Lip Glosses came in here, and I love this. So this is definitely going to be made into something for this junk journal, because I just can't throw stuff like this out because it's so pretty. So that's just in here for now, too, until I decide one day that I want to use it. We got some octopus eyeballs. Just some random pages with spray. Um, this was part of that folder that I was telling you guys about. Now, this was one of the flaps of the folder, so I wanted to save him because I absolutely love froggies. So I used him, and I just um, stapled it down here along the bottom and made him into a little tuck spot. This right here I cut out of, as you can see, a image from a calendar, and I love this. So I can use my sprays or my stamps. I can color in this rose when I want to. If I want to, I can leave it as it is. But right now, it tucks in and it lives there. Um, this was kind of like some of these I showed you from over here where I had some front covers from some old student planners, but I love the images. So I can cover this up with a sticker or some paper pad or something. 
and I just taped this in for a little flap. This is also from a calendar. And this obviously is a rooster. I mean, let's just keep it real. It's a rooster. <laughs> and I left some of him open down here. The rest you can see is all glued. But right here I left this open because this is a call ahead seating from Texas Roadhouse. Somewhere we love to go. And we got this one night when we were there. So I just tucked that in there. Because I can keep it as is or I can cover that up and make it into whatever I want. So this is just some more images that were from, I can't remember if it was a magazine or where, but they were really cute. This is from a calendar. Now this one, we have some Care Bears. Now speaking of grew up watching, this is what I grew up watching. Totally aging myself. That's okay. 1982. Um, and here's some more of this. Is it Lindor's or something? Chocolate? I can't remember. Here was another one of those call ahead seatings that I just put down here. And this right here is just some more of the stuff that I use to bind the book with to keep everything in place. We have a little cutout of this girl from National Geographic because she was the one with the eyes. Some empty pages, some more empty pages, some randomness. And like you guys said, I can decide that I hate this and I can come back in and put anything I want over this. So it's not etched in stone. Like you can change anything you want to change. Um, this right here is a little flap. I put some jewels on it and flipped it and flapped it open. And then you can also stick anything you want inside here if your heart chooses. I got some more blingy things on here. I got some fireworks, a clock. Um, this says boom if you can't read. <laughs> And this image I just really loved, and it said, Be Brave, Little One, um, was a separate image that I found. And I thought, how fitting is that to put that on top of this picture? And then there was also something in, I think it was a Sports Illustrated, that said, Thrown to the Wolves. And it was talking about a sports team, but, I, you know, this kind of all goes together, so that's where that's from. This is just an image, he's an image, and 50 Years of Martian Invasions I put on here because for some reason, this man right here looks like he could be an alien. Yes, an alien. He is an alien. I know it in my hearts of hearts. He's an alien. Um, I put this woman in here because she is gorgeous. Her skin, her lips, her eyes, her hair, she is just gorgeous, darling. Um, and whenever I say gorgeous people... Bam, I'm keeping them. I ain't a hater. I'm a lover. <laughs> so there's just random images. Here is another sticker that I didn't end up using. So it went in here. I'm sorry this is so long, you guys. I probably am over explaining, but I feel like if I just did a flip through to music, you guys would like totally have my number and be like, why did you not talk? So this is what you're getting. If you don't like listening to me, please feel free to mute this, put on some music, and have yourself a little flip through. <laughs> so, you guys, now, this is just another piece of paper that I decided was going in here because that's what I decided. And this right here is also from a calendar page. Um, it says, sometimes you need to be lost. And, oh my god, I relate. I relate, people. Do you relate? I relate. Sometimes you just need to be lost. So I cut this out and I use some washi and now it folds open and I can put whatever I want back here. And down here is a typewriter, obviously. Now, this looks weird, I'm sure, because I just added this sticker, but um, these trees I put in here and these lines I drew because when I close this, it now looks like the trees are coming up from behind it, and there's a mountain, and there's a little chimney and such. I don't know where I was going, but I went there. So that is why this page looks basically like a background for this page. Um, I got the little Keebler elf, some fishies, some more fishies, some money. Don't know what I was doing, but it was having fun, and that's all that matters. I got this beautiful woman. I have her face over here. I drew some hair and a neck. I don't know if that will stay or if I'll cover that all up. I have no idea. But it does say sensuous or strong. Both, please. Everything you need to do everything you want. I don't know why I put that in there. But I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, okay? Don't hate. We got Belle. 
we got some more octopus tentacles okay like i'm sorry i like octopus i love frogs i love turtles i love you know there's not much that i don't love okay like i said i'm a lover i'm a lover we got some monster high girls from a checkoff sheet that was my daughter's we have this little part um from i believe this is joanne's fabrics and I turned this into a little tuck spot where this pulls out. Now, obviously, you can see this is from Marlboro. No, I do not support smoking. So if you're not old enough, don't smoke. Yeah. If you're old enough, choose not to smoke anyway because it's bad for you. Um, but this I now can decorate. I can add, you know, anything I want. I can take some of these papers and... I can glue that paper here and have this open up and have these cute little images stuck in here and have it forever. And then that little book just tucks right in there. Look at the puppy. Look at the puppy. So these are just more random images. Now, do you guys have to use images? Um, this right here, I had a, a heart and then I sprayed over it and pulled the heart out. So it just left kind of like a, an image in the background, a negative area. Now, as I was saying, do you have to just glue in images? Do you have to use washi? Do you have to use sprays? No. You can use, seriously, just junk. It can be wrappers. It can be paper from your packaging. It can be whatever you want. You don't have to tear up your old calendars. Those are just ideas of things that I've done that, you know, if you want to, they're great ideas. Not to pat myself on the shoulder or anything, but... I like the images, that's why I buy the calendars, and instead of throwing them away, glue them down, and now you get to look at them and be happy. Happy holidays. Uh, this just says visions. We got this cutie little patootie baby in a little hammock down here. There, This one turned out way better. Yeah. Me likey. So, <laughs> that one turned out way better. I put the heart down and sprayed over it, and then took the heart out. This is another back sheet from um, a planner from the Dollar Tree. I have a little sticky area down here where I can just, I have pieces of calendar that I put some washi on. I can turn them into nothing. I can throw them away if I want. But right now they're just stuck in this little flap that I turned into a little pocket. This is a um, calendar piece that just I put in here and can flip out like so and you guys when I see this everyone's like doesn't that freak you out your stuff's all pulling out no I can put some glue stick glue stick and glue that right down or if I decide I don't want that there I can just rip this out and stick it somewhere else or throw it away doesn't matter doesn't matter that is that is one of the lessons I needed to learn don't be so critical Things happen for a reason. Go with the flow. Some of our best moments come from mistakes, and I believe that's true. Or maybe you only view it as a mistake, but other people might see it as art already. You never know. Um, so this right here says, join us on our journey to discovery. Some more paper pads from the Dollar Trees. Some, um, I think these were... These were towels from some ad, and I really love the turtle and the flowers, so, hey, hi, hello, hey, hi, hello, if you're still here, hey, hi, and I have some more empty pages, I actually was playing around with some images where I cut different eyes, a bowl of cereal, different things like that, um, and I made a slit in the cereal so that her head could stick in it, so it looks like she's wearing this, let's be real, you guys totally want... You totally want a hat that looks like that. I know it. Don't hate. Um, but anyway, I was like, oh, I could put all kinds of things in here. I could put, you know, make this into like a headdress. I could, I, I put different eyes on her to make it look weird. I like weird. Here's a beaver. <laughs> okay, so there's a beaver. I cut images out so that I can make them into different things. And by different things, I mean... Here's Lady Gaga's head, some man's arms, some cracked eggs, and some lady's dirty flip-flop feet. And I glued them all together and made this little whatever she is. This is um, also from just some random notebook or thing, and I thought, how cute is that? It looks like Miss Lady Gaga hairy arm, dirty feet, egg cracked person is peeking out from behind the red curtain and little Mr. Beaver is so happy. Okay, enough of that. So, 
I have items like that stuck in here. <laughs> and that is why, let's just be real, that's why, because I like making weird stuff out of them. Um, here's another one of the Mama Wolf holding the little baby. If the trip doesn't kill you, living there might. I hear ya. I hear ya. This right here is also a little tuck spot where you can just tuck whatever you want in here. Um, I have diamonds are made under pressure just tucked in there for right now. This here um, thing that I made it out of was something from the mail. This is also a little tuck spot. I got some stuff tucked in an envelope corner that I used, some images. Um, this is a little fold out flippy. Uh, this is an image from the calendar. I have a bag of Funyuns because I love me Funyuns and this is also a tuck spot so I can tuck something in here if I want and it can hold different things. Uh, just another background so this all folds together. And then we got some more, um, I also love everything about space and time and astronauts and black holes and planets and stars so you might see a lot of that stuff thrown around in here too. Um, that says we went to the moon because we wanted to, we went to Mars because we had to. Um, these are some who knew areas that was out of I believe a Reader's Digest. Some more washi. We're getting to the end guys. Um, this says love. This is also from a calendar. And I love this image. This is like tie-dyed bedding so I figured that just needed to be there. I have a receipt from the Dollar Tree. Yes, I do. I glued that sucker down because I wanted to. Some more images, some washi, some... This is like foam glitter, so it's kind of thicker if you can see that. Um, but I cut it out and made a frame. I don't know what I'm doing with it, but I'm doing something. This is another piece from a calendar. This is from a calendar. This is just a little middle flippy. So I can draw on or color the back or fill it with stickers or whatever I want. And back here we have, is this a Flippy Flappers? This is a Flippy Flappers. This is again from cigarettes. This is Camel, so I can turn this into whatever I want. And there's still back here paper to do whatevs. And then tucked in here I just have a bunch of random stuff. Um, some paper, some of that stuff that I made into a little thing I can journal on, some images, some papers, and then I believe that's the last. And then back here I also have another bag of these squishy squishums, whatever, and the rest I just leave folded in there. So that is my junk corn journal flip through, and I'm sure you guys probably weren't that excited with the flip through, but I just kind of wanted to show you where I'm at because. When I get bored or when I have, you know, like a moment and I have a bunch of stuff and I'm like, that's going in there, then I just sit down and do it. And I don't always remember to turn the camera on because for me, it's more of just like a stress relief process. So um, I just start doing it and I don't often always think about, you know, maybe I should video this. So I have a whole bunch of stuff set out over here over here and I have stuff set out over there and in my next video you guys um, we're gonna actually work in the junk journal I'm gonna show you some of the things I come up with and some of the things I do so if you guys liked this video please give it a thumbs up so that I know you want to see more about the junk journal um, and if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe if you like what you see. And don't forget to hit the notification bell because that way you guys are notified every single time I post. So, all right. With that being said, you guys, I'm going to end this now. It is so long. I apologize if you stuck through to the end. I love you. Um, I'm almost, you guys, I'm already at like 7,500 and something subscribers. You guys are amazing. So thank you so, 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 so much to all of you. And I'd love to hear your opinions on some of this stuff in the comments below. Or let me know if you've started one of your own. And you know what? Stay random. I love you guys. I will see you again soon. Bye.